Greetings, I'm your host, Dr. Wolfieland, and this is the third Q&A video. I'm going to be addressing even more questions from you, the fans, and hey, why don't you buy my t-shirt on redbubble.com, please? Two people have bought the shirt so far, and they are really cool guys, especially liquor store horror. Anyway, on to the questions. Jack Stickman asked, Yeah, Dr. Wolfila, I got a question. Were you the one hiding in my bushes last night? I couldn't get any sleep with all the heavy labored breathing I kept hearing. Okay, boss, you got me. Yoli Martinez asked, Hey, Dr. Wolfila, have you met Wolfman? I met Wolfman Jack once. He taught me a lot of life lessons and what it truly means to grow up. He inspired me to finally leave my small town and become a writer in Canada. Also, I really didn't want to fight in the Vietnam War. 8th Street Church of God asked, WWE Brock Lesnar vs. John Cena, who will win? I have no idea who those people are, but I'll go with Brock, I guess, because of Brock Sampson. Keith Aoba Furman asked, What way would you describe society from the past to the present? One minute, humanity is naked and alone in a cave, and the next minute, humanity is naked and alone in an apartment in front of a computer. Now that's progress. Ikeman 99 Cobra asked, Doc, can you write me any good prescriptions? Smiley face. I can only write bad prescriptions. Need any Flintstone vitamins? XX Ghostface 07 asked, Dear Dr. Wolfila, what would you be? Galoshes Willy or Golosh? Wasn't Galoshes Wiley a 1980s porn star? XX Ghostface 07 asked, Will you be my father? I get around a lot. Chances are I am your father. Lawrence Foz asked, What does Goulash eat? Goulash doesn't need to eat, but sometimes I'll force him to eat asbestos I find under my floorboards. He has so many tumors now, it's really hilarious. James Mitchell Fogarty asked, Are your reviews scripted? Of course not! Why would you think that? I can make a great review without a script? Watch, I'll do one right now. Okay, uh, Jurassic Park. There's, um, uh, some dinosaurs in Hawaii. It's like Disneyland with dinosaurs. Or Westworld with dinosaurs. Something like that. The guy who directed Gandhi made the dinosaurs using his cane, I think. Jeff Goldblum was there, too. Uh, he was a wisecracking mathematician. I'm not sure why a mathematician got invited to test a dinosaur amusement park, but whatever. Uh, there were some other characters, too, I think. Some nerds, some kids. Uh, oh, yeah, Samuel Jackson was in the movie, but he doesn't do anything cool, so it doesn't matter. He just gets eaten by a shark. Eventually, the dinosaurs all die because they didn't have immunity to human diseases. Or maybe that was another Spielberg movie. No, I'm pretty sure it was Jurassic Park. Anyway, Jurassic Park has dinosaurs in it, so that makes it one of the best films ever made. C+. Plus. See, that is proof that I do all my reviews without a script. Big Dog Gangsta Swag asked, How do you not get copyright issues for showing clips, please? I'm a real noob that needs help. I get copyrighted on a lot of my videos. Thing is, since they're reviews, they can stay up most of the time. Though I can't monetize a lot of my videos, especially the popular ones. So I don't make much money off of YouTube. For example, you know the 25 minute video I did on Halloween 2009? I made that video for free, basically. Oh well, I just gotta keep reviewing movies nobody has heard of, so I won't get copyright. Melly Serna asked, Hey Dr. Wolfila, do you like wolves? Ew, no. Robbie Putra asked, Is these movie horror? Good question, I have no idea. Paul Bilberry asked, What's your favorite Zelda game, Doc? Besides Zelda 2, I've played through all the console Zelda games, and I gotta say, Ocarina of Time is probably my favorite. I probably sound like a real noob saying that. I just lean more towards the 3D Zelda games. Majora's Mask is great, but when I want a Zelda game, I want a bunch of dungeons, and Ocarina of Time gave me a bunch of fucking dungeons. My least favorite 3D console Zelda is Wind Waker. I don't hate it, though. I just really didn't like looking at the ocean all the time, and there wasn't enough dungeons for my liking. I'd also like to add that Link Between Worlds is really fucking fun. TNT897 asked, Why do we drive on the parkway and park on the driveway? You can totally park on a parkway and drive through a driveway. Nobody's forcing you to do the opposite. Noah Norville asked, What's your favorite Sylvester Stallone movies? Also, what's your favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? My favorite Stallone movie is Spy Kids 3D Game Over, and my favorite Schwarzenegger movie is Jingle All the Way. I'm not even fucking with you. Cody Henry asked, Are there any horror movies that you feel should be remade? There's some Stephen King movies that need good remakes. It especially needs a remake that isn't made for TV. It was an okay movie, but let's be honest, the only really great thing the flick had going for it was Tim Curry. The rest was kind of meh. With a better cast and better effects, it could finally be done proper justice. Also, keep the Dark Tower references in. We need a Stephen King cinematic universe like Marvel. 
Michael Schoenfeld asked, Why do you feel the need to torment Goulash? He has feelings too. I do, you know. If you don't torment your underlings, then they'll never build character. The problem is that he has feelings. You can't be evil and have feelings. No, every time I push him down the stairs, or use his eyes as an ashtray, Goulash comes one step closer to joining the dark side. Daniel Barrera asked, When will you join the Justice League? They said I can't join because they only take humans. That's bullshit. Superman is Kryptonian. Wonder Woman is made out of clay. Sometimes Hawkman is a human wearing fake wings, but usually he's an alien. Batman is half man, half bat. Worst of all, they have a guy named Martian Manhunter. That guy's definitely not human. It's not like he's called New York Manhunter or something. I, I guess the Justice League only accepts members who look human. Prejudice. Jack Barshinger asked, could you and Goulash be on screen at the same time? What would even be the point of that? Chance Brunson asked, Who is your favorite superhero, Batman or Robin, you? Wow, the choices I have are really appealing. I'll go with Robin. Scully the Skeleton asked, Dr. Wolfula, do you like Xbox? That's the kind of question you ask to break the ice on your first day at middle school. I got the first two Xbox systems. They have some good games. Brandon Mason asked, Do you like the insane clown posse? I've never listened to any of their songs, so I don't know. I do know that their makeup is keeping me far away from their music. Shane Adam Charlie Hughes asked, What are some of your favorite bands slash music? I like The Talking Heads, The Killers, Gorillas, The Pillows, Nico Vega, J.G. Thurwell, Beastie Boys, MF Dune, and Squirrel Nut Zippers. Andrew Gamer asked, Do you have a girlfriend? I'm happily married. Say hello to everybody, Meredith. She's so funty. JMR0224999 asked, Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? Their early work was a little too new wave for my taste. But when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own, both commercially and artistically. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. He's been compared to Elvis Costello, but I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. I think they're undisputed masterpieces, hip to be square. A song so catchy, most people probably don't listen to the lyrics, but they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends, it's also a personal statement about the band itself. Eh, I like Ray Parker Jr. better. Patrick Diedrich asked, poop poop. I'm starting to suspect that most of my subscribers are escapees from a mental institution. Mega Mikesy asked, Dear Dr. Wolfula, do you like Game of Thrones? I've only seen the sex scenes. Raider Mags asked, Dr. Wolfula, do you know any good therapists? Tobias Funke is good. He's both an analyst and a therapist. Juju X Gaming asked, why are you so amazing and sexy? Trade secret. XX the Zorark Master XX Leon asked, hi, why are you so ungle? Trade secret. Eddie Cruz asked, do you like penguins? Only if they're the penguins from Madagascar. Those guys are so fucking funny. I must have watched all three of those movies like 50 times each. They're that fucking good. Hood Collector asked, Dr. Wolfula, are you related to any movie werewolves? And if so, do they act all snooty when you see them at family reunions? Okay, I'm not a werewolf. I'm a wolfulite. Werewolves are dumb and they have to change forms. I'm always in this form and I read at a 7th grade level. Also, I don't have a weakness to silver. Anything can kill me. Okay, I probably shouldn't have told you that. Dan N. asked, Dear Dr. Wolfula, what is your real name? Felix Donovan. Tarantula Games asked, Who is the dumbest protagonist in a horror movie? You can't get any dumber than Tina in Halloween 5. She was also really annoying and replaced Rachel for no apparent reason. Just a bad character all around. Cool Dude 233 asked, How many dumb kids killed theirself in your house? Like seven. Bug Slayer 07 asked, I hated the ending of Star Wars KOTOR 2. Also, it tried to overcomplicate everything. F you, bro. KOTOR 2 was fucking great. Especially with the restored content mod. Also, I like my stories complicated. Mega Mike's he asked. Dear Dr. Wolfula, do you think you could ever love me? I only have eyes for one special lady. I love you too, dear. Jack Sparrow asked. Dear Dr. Wolfula, would you hurt a child? Never intentionally, but, uh, you know, I, I don't obey traffic laws. Bad movie flicks asked, why your glasses are broken. I got punched in the face by Carol Channing. Dayton Harrison asked, Dr. Wolfula, did you fuck Gaulish? Ew, what the fuck is wrong with you, you sick freak? Kaiju Dai Kaiju asked, Dr. Wolfula, did you know you have your own wiki page? I know that I have a page on TV Tropes and the Villains Wiki, but they definitely could use some work. If you happen to edit those sites, maybe touch up those articles. 
please? Sarah George asked. I wanted to say hi to Goulash and Dr. Wolfula. Can I has hug? I, I, a werewolf and a Nico. P.S. For people who don't know what Neko is, it mean part cat slash kitten. My dad a werewolf and my mom a Neko. Sweet dreams and if you ever wake up. Uh, thanks for telling me what a Neko is, I guess. Professor Lawrence Pierce at the University of Chicago writes, I think Dr. Wolfie gets stupider every year. That's not a question, Professor, but I'll let the viewers judge for themselves. It's not for everyone, but Dr. Wolfula would definitely recommend it for those of you looking for something different this holiday season. This is without a doubt one of the most batshit insane movies I have ever seen. And this is coming from someone who has seen a lot of batshit insane movies. That's just nitpicking though. This movie sucks for much bigger reasons. Whatever. And what better movie to start with than a Corey Haim film? My favorite Stallone movie is Spy Kids 3D Game Over, and my favorite Schwarzenegger movie is Jingle All the Way. Michael Tachi asked, In another video, you said that Rage by Richard Bachman is your favorite book. Why is that, and when did you first read this? And what other Stephen King books do you list as your favorites? Whoa, I didn't say Rage was my favorite book. I just read it a couple of times. Saying Rage is your favorite book will get you on a lot of government watch lists, and I'm already on too many of those. Another King book I like is Drawing of the Three. It's about a cowboy hanging out on a beach. Brandon Lee asked, Dr. Wolfula, first of all, if you put this in the next Q&A video, I would be amazed that you put this on there. I'm 12, and I would be really happy if you'd answer this. If you had to choose to be in the Halloween series, Friday the 13th series, or the Nightmare on Elm Street, which would you be in? I guess Halloween, because I could just be a guy in a Halloween costume. The regular show archives guy asked, What's your religion? Godly entity, I believe that the almighty godly will rise to fight the unholy beast of end. Scully the Skeleton asked, Do you like me? No comment. Marcus Tucker asked, Fuck you. Well, fuck you too, buddy. Reckless Osvaldo asked, Dear Dr. Wolfula, who do you think will win? 2007 Hobo Michael Myers or 2009 Jason Voorhees? 2009 Jason would win. At least he's sober. Jeremy Carnes asked, What is your favorite YouTube channel and video? And you are awesome. My favorite channel is probably Dinosaur Dracula. Cameron Collardo asked, Will you ever review Twilight? That's a horror movie for sure. You mean the neo-noir film starring Gene Hackman, Paul Newman, and Susan Sarandon? That's more of a thriller, but man, it has a relentless pace. Four stars. Maria Vega asked, Have you ever been in love? And if yes, of who? I think my wife, Meredith, can answer for me. Okay, I don't know why you're acting so bitchy right now in front of my friends. Deke Fagan asked, You are responsible for the polar vortex, right? No, that's being caused by the diabolical Professor Wetherius, supreme ruler of weather. He's a good guy. Great to his kids. Ebby Magnus Reichel asked, What's the name of the monster under my bed? It's called a Gropling. You might want to move. Video Game Prank Calls asked, Will you answer a question for me? Yes, 